Good morning. Will fields be bought again in the land of Judah? We're reading today from Jeremiah 32 and verses 42 to 44. For thus says the Lord, just as I have brought all this great calamity on this people, so I will bring on them all the good that I have promised them. And fields will be bought in this land of which you say it is desolate without man or beast. It has been given into the hand of the Chaldeans. Men will buy fields for money, sign deeds and seal them and take witnesses in the land of Benjamin and the places around Jerusalem and the cities of Judah and the cities of the mountains in the cities of the lowland and in the cities of the south. For I will cause their captives to return, says the Lord. In the middle of all that's happening right now for Jeremiah and his people, it might be kind of hard to answer this question, will fields be bought again, uh, with very much assurance. The armies are in the land, foreigners are in the land, people are being carried away into captivity by, by oodles. The city's surrounded, Jerusalem, the, the capital is surrounded, armies are there, people are starving, they're under siege. Things look really grim, and not only it's not just any random, it's Babylon. The superpower of the world is on their doorstep. Siege mounds up against the city of Jerusalem. It's looking pretty grim, grim stuff. And yet, God wants the people to have this message. He wants them to know this is temporary. The captivity is, is going to happen. Yeah, you betcha, it's happening. But he's going to bring them back ultimately. They're going to do their captivity time. But then he's going to bring them back. Not only are they going to come back, uh, they're going to come back to a, a somewhat of a normalcy. Not normalcy in terms of, you know, pre-captivity Judah that's in full of apostasy and departures from God and everybody doing their own thing. Not that kind of normal corruption type normal. No, we're coming back to a time, we're going to a time where uh, things are just and right the way God always intended them to be. The earth will be made new and there's going to be ultimately a full restoration of just ways of living. So this is good stuff, great stuff coming back uh, along the way. And we're gonna dump these current leaders that are totally off, uh, led the nation astray into a terrible place. We're gonna come back in where we need to be. So this is God's promise and he wants them to know. There will be people buying and selling the land. You know, you're gonna have fields and things. Doesn't look that way from from Jeremiah's perspective, imprisoned in inside the city that's behind the siege of the armies of Babylon. But God isn't through with them yet, and God isn't through with you or me yet. He's going to do a mighty work for our lives, but we need to surrender to him. Jeremiah has given so many warnings that they need to be supplemented by a lot of encouragements. So that's one thing that God is doing through his servant. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we have to believe that we can thrive. We can thrive spiritually if we just go your way. Bless us, be our guide, be our helper, chastise us as need be. Uh, take us, walk us through the, the challenging places, Lord, but, but build us up. Help us to come back and be closer to you than ever before. Help us through the different trials and challenges we face in our lives. Most of those because we've done wrong, but Many things, perhaps just from being in a, a wicked world, a lot of things are impacting on us that aren't necessarily things that we launched or we started. But Lord, you'll get us through them and bring us out champions uh, through Jesus. So Lord, bless us and help your people. Help us to seek your ways. We ask for you to do this for us in Jesus' name. Amen. So yes, fields will be bought again in the land of Judah. You can count on it. God be with you today.